this video you will learn how to manage units of measure and other granular options for recipe and raw ingredients in NCR console. After raw ingredients are established, you will want to manage your units of measure. Essentially, you are taking the units of measure an item is received and breaking it down to units used in recipes. To continue with our milk example, you receive a case of milk from your vendor. The case contains six one-gallon containers of 2% milk. So the available units of measure for 2% milk are a case of 2% milk and one gallon of 2% milk. To build your recipes for smaller units of measure, a good example would be in a coffee item that you sell to your customers. If you sell a 12 ounce latte and in that latte you use 8 ounces of 2% milk, we need to convert these units of measure so that every time we sell this item at the POS, we can manage how many raw ingredients from each recipe are going out and adjust our profit margin accordingly. Since you sell 2% milk in ounces, convert the one gallon units of measure to 128 fluid ounces. Yes, there are 128 ounces in a gallon. You can repeat this exercise for all of your desired units of measure. Let's see how this works. First, we click on Manage Inventory. And then from here, we click on More Options and then Manage Units. Next, you will click on the item where you want to manage, in this example, Milk. And here's where you make your conversion. You will name your item, any abbreviations, and does this unit have a conversion unit? Click Yes and then Convert it. You save. Moving on, we would then go to step four, which is building our recipes. Building recipes is important in NCR Console because it helps you again to manage your inventory on a level where you can track every item that comes into your store and is sold at the point of POS. Let's build a recipe or see how it is built for our lattes 12 ounce in our example. So we will go first go to Find the item, we will go back to our main menu, click Manage Inventory, and then we will look for our products. In this case, we're looking for a coffee item, our latte, 12 ounce, and here is our item, all of the item information. So we will start with, we can look at the SKU, the min and max par levels, and even the price. This also has a current recipe built, which is good for the example that we're going to use. As you can see, in this particular latte, we use 8 ounces of 2% milk, 2 teaspoons of cane sugar, a half a teaspoon of chocolate syrup, 2 tablespoons of dark roast, which is our coffee beans, and a teaspoon of vanilla extract. You can also see the cost for each item in this recipe to see what the total cost of this item actually is and then the price you sell it at the point of sale. Your profit margin here in this example is 78%. Let's look at how this recipe was built. So we will click on added recipe and in here you can click Edit or Delete. These recipes have already been established, so let's look at Edit. And here you will go in and add each item individually. Water is not a part of recipe because you don't want to track water in your inventory management or reporting. Now when your lattes are sold at the point of POS, the items included in the recipe will auto-deplete from your inventory. This helps you understand your cost and have better insight into your quantity on hand. Only establish raw ingredients and include them in recipes for items you want to auto-deplete from inventory and track. You do not have to build recipes for items purchased from vendors then sold to customers without additional inputs. For example, books. You don't need to build a recipe for books. Continuing to look at recipe building. Once the recipe is built, you can view the recipe costs and margins. Again, we looked at the previous screen.
This concludes your video for additional inventory tools on NCR console.